Hey guys, it's just Get 13 here, back with another video. I'm just gonna show you um, 12 of my favorite figures. Now I just got that new Elite 12 cane, and I just fixed up the hand. So and also I did that for my Titan Tron. I drew the war, is war signs. Yeah, I drew these. Just I thought I did a pretty good job drawing those. So tell me what you think. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Mankind, I got him around November, but he was a Christmas present though, but, you know, the Mr. Sacco is pretty good, and the sculpt, the mask is also removable. Hang on, can't get a hold of the thing. Let's see. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Some people say he's too short, but I disagree. I think it's a perfect, I mean, he's always been hunched over, so I think it's a pretty good figure over here, the Defining Moments Bret Hart. He's my favorite. Um, I also have the exclusive, which I switched the uh, glasses out for. Um, but I've always loved this figure. I love the body on it, and the head sculpt is pretty good. Um, but the only thing I don't like about this figure that I like better about the uh, exclusive is how his hair is the jet black. I like it better is the darker brown than the jet black. But Kane, he's always been definitely in my top three wrestlers ever since he debuted. Of course, you know, in the Attitude Era when he came into the cage and Tombstone the Undertaker. But he's always been my favorite and I always love watching his matches. So, and I fixed up because the original Elite 12 had the this open hand, but the choke slam hand that he'd always used wasn't open. So I fixed that up. I think it looks a little better that way. Then over there we got the San Diego Comic Con 2010 exclusive Undertaker. I always love that. When I think of the Undertaker, I always think of that one and the biker. The biker is also one of my favorites, but um, I like that one better. I try to only do one of each of my figures. Because if I didn't, I'd probably have all my CM Punks up here, but still. That was my favorite out of all my Undertakers. I've always loved that outfit, so. Let's go down here. Kevin Nash. I'm a big NWO fan. So, there's the NWO. Speak in, into my, into my wants a little bit. From the NWO, I really want the NWO, um, Randy Savage. I need his shirt. And his glasses, you know, I need everything there. And if anybody has them, I need Diesel. Because I wanted to go with my Shawn Michaels. But, you know, off that subject, let's go into the next figure. Shawn Michaels. Again, I've always loved the DX and Shawn Michaels. He was always my favorite. Next to Kane. But, yeah, this is my favorite version of Shawn. And I've never gotten Elite Shawn until him. Because I didn't like the pants. But... You know, that one's pretty good. Next, we have the Ringside Exclusive Bionic Redneck Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, this has a, believe it or not, has a different body sculpt and a smirking head sculpt. But it's way better than the All-Star Pack in the Legend series. But next, Brock Lesnar. His first Elite. In WWE Mattel. But, I mean, I really thought they should have done the flashback version first with the tights and, you know, without that. I thought that would have been a better choice. But still, it's a pretty good figure. I've, I've always liked it since I got it. Tyson Kidd. He may be a metal carter, but I'm a big fan of the cruiserweight division. Um,. And I've always loved how his figure works. I have two, but I took the hand off of the one like this and put it on my Triple H. Because I didn't like how he had the open hand, like the one that went like that. So I changed that. But, um, I could put it back easily if anybody wanted. But, um, next, Evan Bourne. I, put, I switched the head on it because I like the serious head skull. More than the smiling one. 
But I like the red more than the green, just because it was the Elite 8, it was older. And I like my figures a little loose in my Elite 13, because not never been loose. So, on next, Justin Gabriel. Um, I gave him the Nexus Armband. I'm still surprised that they haven't given him a new Elite anytime soon, but... I mean, I've always loved this figure since Elite 12 came out. So, and lastly, he's my new favorite modern day wrestler, CM Punk. You know, this is my favorite attire that they put out, my favorite head school. Sculpt, so. Gave him the best in the world shirt. So, alright, on to my wants. Um, I told everyone earlier that I need the NWO Randy Savage complete. Um, I really would like Diesel. I don't care about the belt, but if you have it, that's great. But I mostly just want the jacket and the figure. But if you have the belt and is willing to trade it, that'd be awesome. Um, uh, so, that's... No. Just show you again. Also, um, we're elite. I need the Elite 20, um, Chris Jericho and Cody Rhodes. If you have him, that'd be great too. I also need the Elite 18 Sin Cara. And, um, if you have the, I really want the Legends series, I believe it's 6, Ultimate Warrior. Where he had the yellow World Heavyweight Championship belt. So I really need him too. But that's it for now. I might post another video with my new wants Because, you know, I haven't really thought about them much. But that's it good enough for now. Oh, one more. Um, I really want the Elite 12 Daniel Bryan. In the League 11 Miz. I'm finally starting to get some. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, Elite 17 Kofi Kingston. Elite um, 16 The Rock. But that's it. So I'll post um, all those figures in the description if, you, if I was either talking too fast or you weren't paying attention. But thanks. And if you guys want to trade, um, I don't send first, but I'd be really happy to trade. If you're willing to send first and you have any of the figures I wanted, please either comment or PM me. Thanks.